Welcome back to Easy Bees Kitchen, y'all. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm very excited. It's a perfect occasion to have with your friends. It's a, always a nice time for everybody to get together. And we don't do it chips and dips in style. We do it seafood. We're taking all this to the grill. We got some red snapper, oyster, shrimp, fresh vegetables, and everything. We'll take you over here to the board and show you what we're working with for our Super Bowl Sunday seafood grill. Our herbs and spices, we've got garlic and fresh ground uh, pepper, black and white, and some fresh sea salt. Our veggies, we got cabbage, onion, and sweet potato. And the star of our show today, and everything that will be going to the grill, is the red snapper. One whole 16 oysters on the half shell. We've already opened them up. They're fresh Gulf oysters. And fresh shrimp, and we're going to have head on. Grilled shrimp is always better head on. It's much sweeter and has much more of a sophisticated flavor. The oils we'll be working with today are sunflower oil, a little butter, and some mayo for our cabbage. Our sauces are going to be hot. These are going to go on to our grilled oysters. You ever had grilled oysters before? If you haven't, you don't know what you're missing. Follow us here at Easy Bees Kitchen. My name's Tim Broxton. I got my trusty man, film man, Drew Hollingsworth with us today, and we're going to take you outside on a beautiful Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday that is. It's hard to think of a better accompaniment to seafood than cabbage. This is going to make a beautiful slaw. We've grated it simply and added uh, our mayo and we have our salt and white pepper, fresh ground white pepper. And we're just going to take that in and fold it in. We're going to do this first thing because I personally, and like other people, like my cabbage cold. So once we get all this stirred together, we're going to stick it in the fridge and it's going to be ready when all the seafood comes off the grill. Another perfect, perfect accompaniment for seafood are sweet potatoes. They're high in antioxidants, they're low glycemic, and they're full of iron and minerals. Good for you foods, and they're oh so good. You're just gonna take a little bit of olive oil, and you'll drizzle that all across this whole group of potatoes. And we're gonna wait to salt and pepper them until they come out of our oven. They're gonna need about 30 minutes in a 350 oven. So while we put our seafood on the grill, we're gonna have this in the oven roasting. And man, I can't tell you how good these are. This is fresh gold snapper. When you're at your local seafood market, you wanna look at the eyes of the fish. It's kinda of like looking at your girlfriend or boyfriend. The eyes will tell it all. These are clear, not cloudy. You can pick up the fish, and smell it. If it smells fishy or has a strong aroma, don't buy it. It should smell just like salt water, which has very little smell. We're gonna take some sunflower oil. This was taught to me in the Basque region by some of my Spanish friends, or they're actually Basque, but you take the sunflower oil and pour it directly over the fish, and you wanna take some salt, fresh salt and some white pepper and make sure you get some of that into the cavity of the fish. It's already been cleaned and scaled. And you'll turn it over and do the same and make sure you have a thorough and even application. And I'm gonna take the excess oil and do the same. Rub it into the interior cavity of the fish just to make sure the entire fish is coated. No herbs or spices necessary, just a little salt and pepper. We're at my favorite place. We're outdoors in my backyard. You can see we've got all of our food ready to grill and I'm going to show you what we're going to do for our sauces both for our oysters and then for our shrimp. We're going to take half a stick of butter and put it in each of these pans which we'll use on the grill and we're going to take some garlic and put in this one. This is going to be for the shrimp. We're going to have garlic grilled shrimp and then we're going to take some hot sauce. That's uh, your favorite hot sauce and just pour it in there very liberally until you get about uh, at least seven or twelve dashes in there. And our onion, to prepare it for grilling, we've got it cut and peeled. We're just going to pour a little olive oil on it and stick it on the top while all of this cooks. First thing to go on is going to be our fish. First thing we're going to do is put this fish, the red snapper, right over the hottest part of the fire and we're going to pour some of that juice on it. We're going to close the lid to contain that fire and let this baby cook. It's going to be about 10 minutes on each side. The next thing we're going to do is put our oysters and our shrimp on. Next go on our Gulf oysters. These are Apalachicola, the Lake Lanier, which uh, is a reservoir of the Chattahoochee River right here in Gainesville, flows all the way down through the state of Georgia right to the Gulf. 
So these are very near and dear to my heart. Once we get those on, we're gonna brush each and every one of these individually with our marinade. And this is the hot sauce and butter. So we have uh, salt-free butter and hot sauce. It's got all the sodium we need in it. Now we've got all of our head on shrimp. We've moved the fish off the hottest part of the grill. And we're gonna take our butter sauce and we're just gonna stir it around a bit and pour it right on. And you can see you have to be careful. This could cause a, cr a big fire, but right now it's just creating smoke and smoldering. Absolutely beautiful. Now you can see we've just put our peeled onion on. The oysters are up top, so they'll cook slowly, and the shrimp down below, and the fish right over the direct heat. And we have a little bit of our reserve sauce to continue to baste these oysters with. Look at everything on the grill. Everything's coming along beautifully. The fish has now been on this side for about 10 minutes. We're gonna very carefully flip it over and look at that. Gorgeous grill marks, everything. The flavors are gonna be incredible. We're just turning all of our shrimp. You can see they're starting to get orange, so you know they're cooking. Our shrimp is ready. Our fish is ready to come off the grill. The oysters are absolutely beautiful. If you've never had oysters or you're not an oyster fan, on the grill is the way to have them. The taste of the smoke incorporates this hot sauce and butter. It's a delight. You want to carefully remove this fish. It's going to be very hot. Might want to get a rag even, a clean one of course, and put it right in the center of the tray like that. And then you'll take your shrimp and simply surround the fish in its natural environment. All these beautiful shrimp, absolutely gorgeous. And finally, I'm taking the oysters off. You want to be real careful. They're going to be pretty hot. They're not too terribly hot because we had them on the top rack, as I mentioned, so they would cook slowly. Look at this, unbelievable, right off the grill. We got a Spanish style red snapper. We've got Spanish style garlic shrimp off the grill and some beautiful New Orleans or Metairie style oysters. Got the inspiration from a wedding I attended in New Orleans, unbelievable. If you're man enough to eat chips and dip and drink beer, you're definitely man enough to take some fish from this head on fish. Beautifully toasted up right out of the oven. Didn't have to fat fry them. Beautiful, just a little olive oil. These are our sweet potatoes. And here is our fresh, homemade coleslaw. Garnished it just a little bit with some fresh white pepper and a touch, a touch of parsley, okay? That's just for freshness. It's gonna be a nice, crisp meal accompanied by a nice dry white wine. We have a Sauvignon Blanc today. Everything has turned out spectacular. This is the Super Bowl Seafood Grill. All right, so you've seen the presentation. Here's the plate. Everything looks stupendous. First bite I'm gonna have is of the fish. Mm. The smoke, the salt, the oil, the sea, it's all there. Now for my personal favorite, the oysters. Mm. Unbelievable. Saltiness, a little hot and the sweet from the butter. And then the shrimp. Oh man, y'all don't know what you're missing if you've never had a head on shrimp. I'm gonna peel this right up. Take a nice bite. Mmm, cook just perfect. If you grill shrimp, you gotta be very careful not to overcook them. That, the seed, the smoke, everything, it's all there. Come join us at Easy Bee's Kitchen. Toast to you all. We'll see you next time.